How to Create Meaningful Change in Your Life Meaningful change is not something that happens to you. It's something you do. It's about taking control of your life and making the necessary changes to achieve your goals. Sure, some people do change because of circumstances. In fact, many people change because of pain they experienced. Sometimes, when we are hurt by others, the pain is so intense, it leaves internal scars that show up in our personalities. Some people might change into a withdrawn, negative, bitter person because of how badly they were hurt. Others who experience the same pain might remain the same, but become more analytical, putting far more thought into what they allow others to know about them. Because they put more thought into everything, they take much more time to make decisions, whereas if they were once spontaneous, they may now be reserved and cautious. There are many other examples how people change because of circumstances, and each are simply matters of cause and effect. But when it comes to changing for an intentional purpose, such as becoming a better version of yourself, or becoming a person whose presence and demeanor commands respect, that takes planning. Transitioning oneself is not an overnight process, nor is it a magical result of repeating actions over 21 days. Such things are hoaxes perpetrated by money-grabbing, attention-seeking charlatans. If such rapid results were possible, your doctor, therapist, or mentor would have told you long ago. It would be common knowledge. Unfortunately, it's self-help hype. It took you all your life to become who you are today. It's going to take some time to unwind some of the things you want to let go, and it's going to take time to form the habits that will become part of your improved character. The good news is that you can begin to change immediately. While changing into the person you, know, you wish to become may take months or years, the moment you start to work toward that change is the moment your transitioning begins. You can feel the change as it begins, and that's very encouraging because such moments can keep you going. Think of each day, each action, each goal accomplished as building blocks. You begin with a plan. Each day you see your work slowly becoming the end product you seek to produce. So where do you begin? Well, to create meaningful change, you need to start by identifying what you want to achieve. Take some time to reflect on what's important to you and what you want to accomplish. Be specific. For example, don't say you want to be smarter or more intelligent. Name what it is you want to master. You might say, the person I am becoming is a well-spoken thought leader, able to convince other people to see things differently and change their minds. Now that you have established something specific, you can work on specific actions you need to take to get there. For example, you may need to educate yourself by reading books and watching videos, perhaps some TED Talks on rhetoric, communication, and persuasion techniques. When people make general goals without pinpointing what they want to accomplish, they can't determine the exact actions to take to get there. If one says his goal is to lose weight, he told himself nothing. To lose weight, one must decide what the goal is. To lose 50 pounds in 18 months, one must take certain steps that involve certain kinds of exercise, along with a certain kind of diet to lose a certain amount of pounds per week and per month in order to accomplish the goal on time. That leads us to the next step, which is, you need to take action. This means making a plan and sticking to it. Depending on the goal, your action steps could involve exercising more, eating healthier, rehearsing musical scales for a set amount of time each day, acquiring materials to learn a new skill, and so on. When you set big goals, getting there can seem overwhelming. The key to not becoming overwhelmed is to break the necessary actions you need to take into smaller, manageable steps. For example, say your goal is to become an excellent guitarist who is able to play any song Eddie Van Halen published. That's a huge undertaking, even for just one song. But what you can do is break the big goal into smaller chunks, which are called objectives. Your action plan might look something like this. First, buy an app such as Songster. That app shows you exactly where to play each note on your fretboard. That's still a big undertaking, indeed because Van Halen was our generation's Mozart. But, by using the app's features, you can break the song down measure by measure. It lets you highlight as much or as little of the song as you'd like so that it only plays that part in a loop over and over again. 
It also lets you slow the song down in 10% increments. You could begin with an easy measure, slow it down to 50% or at whatever speed you can play along with. At first, you will remain at 50% for a while, perhaps weeks. But when you master the measure at that speed, you can increase it to 60% and so on. Whether your goal is to learn music, another language, how to write comedy, or change your personality, this model will get you there. It's just like the saying of old, inch by inch, anything's a cinch. So, create your action plan by breaking the big goal into smaller objectives. And as you do, make sure the deadline you set to master the goal is reasonable. Sometimes we need to adjust our expectations. That's okay. Do what needs to be done. Night always comes, and so does tomorrow, as does next month and next year. Keep your eye on the goal and, in time, you will master what you set out to do. Next, as you take action, you must develop positive habits, and this is crucial. Success is not just about what you do, but also about who you become. Develop positive habits that support your goals and vision for your life. These habits may include daily rehearsals, redirecting intrusive thoughts, or seeking out information. It's not about generic things like journaling, meditation, and giving a universe with no ears gratitude. Of course, if you find things like that will move you toward your goal, then do them. But self-help articles, blogs, and books that drone on and on about this stuff are a bunch of hot air. Rather, developing habits is about getting yourself automated to do whatever is necessary to move you toward your goal. Picking up the phone and calling 10 prospective clients a day will do that. So-called journaling and meditating won't. Just as importantly, you need to eliminate negative habits. Negative habits are actions that hinder your progress and prevent you from achieving your goals. Identify any negative habits that are holding you back and replace them with positive ones. If you are prone to thoughts of self-doubt that have no anchor in reality, you have got to replace